What's going on guys? Chad here with you. Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. So after months of fine tuning and playing with Betaflight 4.0 and my quad and everything like that, I finally came to the point where I'm like, okay, I am super happy with the way everything is looking. Let's just go ahead and throw a log out there on the Black Bot on the Betaflight Black Blocks log review Facebook group and see what they have to say about the tune that I've came up with. I wanted to get some expert feedback before I put this out onto the channel in case some of you guys want to try this out. I know there was a lot of interest on the video that I put out before and pretty much all of it was positive. I don't really recall any negative results at all. Maybe from some people who just like to repeat negative stuff, but that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get a good tune and figure out why. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, give me a like and comment down below. Let me know if this helps you out or if there's something else that you would like to see. There's a lot of good stuff coming up on the channel. I'll be releasing an update video soon. Got some new kind of fun stuff that I've been working on and playing with and having a really good time with quads and FPV lately. And if you want to hook me up and throw me a bone, I got Amazon links down there, you know. I get a little bit of cash from Amazon every month thanks to you guys, enough to buy like a box or two of screws or some foam landing pads, just kind of that stuff like that. So if you need any of that kind of stuff, click on a link down there and get some of it or, you know, buy a refrigerator or something like that. And, uh, you know, of course, I'll get a little kickback off of it. So besides my noise video that I put out, like, I don't know, I'll link it up here so you can take a look at it. I didn't, I haven't dove into like the actual black box squiggly lines and all that kind of stuff yet. And in, in a few cases, in a few cases, I have uh, some certain debug modes just to actually see some things that were going on. So obviously we did the gyro scaled debug mode to get our noise. I did the D min uh, debug mode to kind of find out where my D gains were, were at whenever I was flying and the different configurations between setting d min or using d min as d boost which is what i have settled on and is really awesome mark uav tech check out his channel and so yeah i am pretty happy i'm going to share all this stuff with you guys again some of you have seen some of this it's changed uh a lot since the last video especially with flipping the d's around and stuff now definitely i advise everybody to try it with caution you know, it, it definitely make sure that you have a handle on the noise that's going on inside of your ship and that you're not like trying too aggressive of PIDs if your filtering and all that stuff is not set correctly. I mean, it all starts with filtering. Get that filtering and that noise profile under control so that way you can raise those PIDs and get that feel that you want. And when we talk about feel real quick, everybody gives their kind of explanation of what P, I, and D does. I mean, really for me to sum it up to you personally, you know, it all starts with rates and set point. And then as you start to change P, I, and D, that stuff kind of like moves and changes as well. So you can really get going down a rabbit hole. So stick with some rates and stuff that you're comfortable with. And then just don't, don't change things like that like once you start diving into your pids because your pids are going to change the way that things kind of react and feel you know the p is definitely going to make things react faster the d is going to slow down things it's not going to, it's going to create that mushy feeling in your stick and the i is just going to lock your trajectory whenever you are flying in a certain path and it also kind of plays in on stick feel too i mean that's like my basic 101 of like how i tune it's just tuning for feel once i know that my quad can handle it so let's take a look real quick i'll show you we'll go over the build real quick then we'll go into beta flight and all that stuff i don't have any footage because that gopro card I don't know all of my videos that came off of that card i got a new one just uh they didn't like they played fine on my computer but for some reason premiere just didn't like them i tried converting them and everything else oh hi so you know i have a i have a visitor here so but anyway so i could so i can't show you exactly uh, the, the video from it but you've all seen this thing flying and it, 
there's really not much in the behavior. It's just gotten better and uh, smoother. So anyway, let's take a look at that stuff. Just so everybody's familiar with the build of what we have here is the TVS Source 1. And this is a 6S build. I run 1256S batteries on there. GoPro Hero 7 Black. Johnny FPV props. The 2207 1750 Sam Gooks. Full race flight setup in here that is flashed with Betaflight 4.0. Unify. Crossfire. Ion V2, Immortal L, all this weighs about 740 grams. So that is the weight that we're looking at. That's with everything ND filter ready to go. So here's the post here where I posted the log and everybody started taking a look at it and chiming in. Some people wanted it. They wanted to share with it. Chris took a look at it and here is his basically his conclusions that everything the inputs are tracking very well that means that my RC command and set point are pretty much spot on nothing bad as he said a bit of denoise which is coming from the roll access that I know he did say to go ahead and possibly change this filter and not change the feel but he said if you were getting hot motors I'm not getting hot motors and everything's okay so like he says just fly and have fun. He did warn here to be careful that if I bend a prop with the high D peak that it could, you know, the P's might flip out and it might call for those the high D gains that I have set here that I'll show you and that I could, you know, overheat and burn a motor, but that's just kind of a chance that I'm willing to take because everything's working. And of course you can see my response, wow, so I did something right. Yeah, I put a lot of time into it, and yeah, I'm pretty happy about the results that I've got. And then here is some discussion about the D-min and D-boost configuration that I'll talk about what you'll see in my PIDs. Mark at UAV Tech has done a video explaining this, process, this thought process and his results. So I want to go through every detail here, and first thing we're going to take a look at is I'm running props out. D shot 1200 I'm running on the current stable BL Heli 32 firmware 8% motor idle AKAK CRSF all of the usual type of stuff inside of the receiver tabs dead bands set it to all of this is stock which is pretty much the best settings for crossfire under CLI, if you type get relax, you're going to get a couple values here. This I term set relax type is going to be, of course, put in in the PID tuning area, but this relax cutoff value, it comes at 20, which is the default for racing. You're going to want to change that in the CLI to 11. So just type set. I term relax cutoff equals 11 save and exit so here are the PIDs and you can take a look and see how high everything is and that's really kind of going against what everybody is saying as far as the defaults go but again if you took a look at my videos before you can see that I have a good idea as far as what's going on underneath the hood noise wise on this quad i also have been working on this tune for months throughout all of the beta flight 4 development the one thing i want to talk about though is my d values and the d min now this is being ran in the d boost configuration which uav tech mark spatz has talked about in one of his videos the d values of 55 and 60 so those are arbitrary most of the time when I'm in my 30 to say 45% throttle range when I'm flying, my D gains are set here at the minimum values, which 30 and 34 is kind of what I've settled on. I've got that by running a debug mode and collecting that information. There's a couple videos out there on that. Uh, Mark pretty much says to start off with the default D gain settings, but I found that those were a little too high, so I just went ahead and lowered those a little bit. 
I also have the gain set to 45 so that way it will increase the PIDs, the D gains, up to these values. So setting these to 55, 60, or 60, 65 really doesn't matter. These are like the maximum ceilings that my quad could get to if needed. Now I haven't seen a situation in black box where it has reached this. Normally, I think I've seen it up into the 40s. Uh, I've never seen maybe into the 50s. And I really don't have a good answer as to why you would put them this high then if you're not seeing that maybe I could lower them down but they're really not doing anything because it's all being controlled through the demon gain so whenever I'm performing a maneuver where the P gain is calling for more D then it's allowed to rise up to these values so it's kind of the flip of the D min but it works great definitely definitely way less prop wash and everything else it's fantastic one thing in my log they were kind of debating on whether or not advance should be set to zero since i'm in a boost configuration stock is 20 and i set it to 10. i haven't noticed any difference in performance of flight so maybe eventually i'll try zero and when i do a de-boost demon video we'll talk about that my feed forward transition is set at 0.35 and that kind of goes along with my rates. Throttle boost is at 15. I have VBAT compensation turned on and of course the iTerm Relax set to gyro. Anti-gravity set to 10. TPA, which is now only related to the D-Term, is set at 1750 because that's really about the top end of my throttle when I do a punch out. So. At 1750, it's just going to chop that D by 0.8, and it's just going to make everything just just nice. It helps eliminate prop wash. With the Johnny FPV props, they are a little bit limited as far as the power they can deliver, but of course, they, they, you get the smoothest video in flight that I've ever experienced. So I have the throttle limits off and set to just 100%. When it comes to filtering, I'm gonna leave everything exactly the same as it was because Chris said everything looked pretty good. He did said that possibly to deal with some of the little bit of D-roll noise that I had that I could lower my D-term low pass down to like 120 or 100 and not really sacrifice any type of feel. But I'm not noticing any problems or I'm not, you know, I'm not seeing nothing in my video and the quad feels great. So I'm just going to leave it where it's at, which was the other thing that he suggested. So that's it, guys. That's going to do it. I know it was a long video and a lot of information. If you skip through and just copy the PIDs over and stuff, you're going to lose a lot of vital information and some good discussion. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Please subscribe, comment, and we'll see you on the next video with some pretty cool stuff.